does the V-Series mean to Cadillac and what does this new ATSB mean? Um, you know, V-Series uh, has been and will continue to be really the ultimate expression of the design, the performance, the technology, and the engineering capability of Cadillac. Um, and it really represents kind of the, the passion that's at the core of the brand. Uh, and I'll talk about the passion a little, a bit, a little bit later. Um, but since its inception in 2004 with our first CTSV, the V-Series have driven this uh, amazing levels of uh, performance and, and power and driver engagement into the brand. Uh, and we've improved that in every generation. Now this is our third generation of V-Series. We have the first CTSV, we have the second generation CTSV, sedan, coupe, and wagon, and now uh, introducing the ATSV and the uh, soon to come its big brother, the uh, CTSV, in its third generation. These cars have been very effective at adding the credibility and the substance uh, for the performance character of Cadillac vehicles. Um, I mentioned this word passion, and let me talk about that. It takes, it takes two different forms. One is an internal passion in the company. There's nothing um, more motivating or exciting for our, our engineering team than to get to work on cars like this. Um, the, 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 uh, these, these cars have taken the idea of, of power and performance and to, to new heights, and to be able to do that in a car that's also uh, pleasant to drive, it's got luxury, it's got comfort, and use that as a daisy, daily driver. This combination of a track-capable, high-performance car and a daily driver, this is vehicle integration uh, practice to a level of an art form. Um, and this skill and this history of developing these cars has built up. The same group of guys have been involved in this since the beginning, uh, bringing in new members along the way. And, and this, this uh, capability and, and approach to developing these cars has, has spread throughout the rest of our car line. So it's this internal passion and skill and, and techniques and um, an approach to developing high performance luxury cars. It started with the V Series and it's growing throughout our product lineup. So I want to, you know, the, the guys here, John and John and Brian, uh, the guys who do this on a daily basis, uh, engage them in that conversation today, find out what, what goes on uh, behind the scenes as they develop these cars. Um, the other part of this is the external passion. Um, we have found that uh, there, there is nothing, uh, our V Series owners are the most enthusiastic Cadillac advocates uh, we have. We see that in our uh, car corrals that we do at the racetracks uh, with our V-Series owners. Uh, we see this at um, when new folks uh, experience V-Series for the first time at some of our events like V-Labs uh, where we provide a track driving experience for, for uh, folks who are just seeing Cadillac for the first time and are blown away with um, you know, the performance capability and, and the uh, driving fun of a Cadillac, you know, something they never expected to, to find. And then you see it really anywhere anybody's talking about V-Series, just the level of enthusiasm and excitement and, and discussion that goes on about uh, you know, the hardware and the performance and the sounds and the feel and, and the stories behind the V-Series. So this level of, kind of passion and engagement and excitement uh, is, is really what, what the V-Series is all about. It's building um, the, the excitement for the Cadillac brand and our performance uh, credentials in total. So we'll, we're going to continue to invest in V-Series. It's been a very powerful uh, element for the brand, uh, attracting younger buyers, attracting more fluent buyers. That's great. Uh, but again, importantly, these advocates, folks who go out and tell their friends about, about V-Series when they're uh, out discussing cars at, uh, uh, at, at bars or dinner or at the office, wherever. Uh, V-Series has become a topic of conversation for us. Um, now, ATSV, what that brings, uh, the first ever ATS, is it expands um, our, our bandwidth of V-Series. So we now have two, um, two distinct flavors uh, that we'll have a, a V-Series, two different characters, if you will. So with the ATS-V is our smallest, lightest, most compact V-Series. We've got this very nimble, razor sharp, tossable, fun to drive track car. Later on, we're, we'll bring in its big brother, the CTS-V, and kind of by comparison, we could describe that as an express jet. Um, higher levels of luxury uh, with this mind-boggling uh, power and performance uh, capabilities uh, in the CTSB that will come out later this year. So you've got this wonderful bandwidth and, and uh, choice of uh, flavors of V-Series. We'll broaden our appeal, reach a broader audience. Uh, the other element of ATSV is uh, to an extent it lowers 
kind of the barrier of entry uh, to a V-Series with a more affordable price point, uh, slightly lower than where the CTS has been in the last gen. So we can bring in some new, some new buyers into the V-Series family with this ATS-V. Um, the final thing about uh, V-Series is uh, it becomes our platform for the, our motor racing. You saw some of those pictures of the new race car, uh, the new ATS-VR race car this year. So Motorsports gives us uh, this great outlet convey this, uh, this story, this excitement, this engagement, uh, and, the, and the performance attributes of Cadillac, uh, to show that to a new audience. It gives a, um, kind of a moment uh, when our owners can gather. I mentioned these car corrals. We, we bring our owners into these races around the country, uh, and they get to talk to each other and share their stories and builds up this great kind of esprit, esprit de corps for these series owners. Uh, so again, it has that internal owner focus to it, and it's a way for us to communicate to a broader audience uh, the, what's going on in terms of performance and excitement in Cadillac. By the way, that new car is a GT3 uh, FIA spec car, so now we have the option to uh, take Cadillac racing uh, outside of the U.S. and uh, the various uh, uh, racing series around the world. So that's something we're looking forward to as we uh, look to grow Cadillac globally around the world. Okay. So I hope that gives you an idea of just the context of um, what V-Series means to the brand, kind of the way it's, uh, it's, it's growing and building the excitement for Cadillac and really establishing um, and putting the punctuation mark on our performance and vehicle dynamics capabilities. So in that, the rest of the story to all that is what Dave and the team are going to walk us through on the, uh, all the displays that are over there and tell you what's underneath the skin of that ATSV. All right. All right. Thank you.